Today we are going to give an introduction to the TV10 and go through some of the modules and functions. The master control panel, Bluetooth function, AS TVTX transmitter, TV REC receiver, TVD REC dual receiver, and the RM CD player. Feel free to click any of the links to the left to jump through the video. The Traveler TV10 is customizable with modules of your choice. Click the link to build your own Traveler today. Before we go through the modules and functions, there are some things to go through before operating the TV10. Before using any of the Traveler portable speakers, charge the battery for at least 8 hours with the power switch off prior to the first time use. It is also highly recommended that you leave your Traveler connected to the charger while not in use. It contains a smart charging system and will only charge when the battery falls below a certain level. Doing this will maintain the quality of the battery and provide maximum operation time and battery life. The indicator light will show red when your unit is charging. It will flash red and green when your unit is almost charged. Finally, the light will turn green when your unit is completely charged and ready for use. When operating on AC power, the Traveler will recharge its internal batteries at the same time. When looking on the front of the TV10, you will see the handle, speaker grill, horn tweeter, and woofer. There is also a built-in retractable handle and wheels for easy travel. The TV10 can also be mounted to a speaker stand. Just simply align the speaker hole found on the bottom of the unit to the stand and then the TV10 will be mounted. Turn the unit to the back and we'll go through some of the modules and functions of the TV10. When looking at the master control panel, you will see the treble and bass control, line and volume control, aux and Bluetooth volume control, mic 1 and 2 volume control, master volume control, the voice priority button, which is a ducking system that lowers the volume of the music being played and prioritizes when someone is talking into a microphone. When activated, voice priority is perfect for when music is being played through one of the media devices, like the Bluetooth function, and someone needs to make an announcement via one of the connected wireless or wired microphones. This will also duck the media audio being transmitted to any connected satellite travelers. As we continue, you will see the line-in RCA inputs to connect an external audio device, such as a smartphone or media player, line-out to connect a mixed signal recorder or active speaker, Bluetooth button, aux in input to connect an external audio device, such as a smartphone or media player, mic 1 and 2 for connecting a microphone cable. To activate the Bluetooth, press the button to switch on the Bluetooth function. You will hear a tone, and the power indicator LED will light blue. The link indicator will also flash blue to indicate that the module is looking for a device to pair with. While in pairing mode, activate a Bluetooth connection scan on your device. It will serve as the source of the audio. When the search is complete, select a device called Galaxy Traveler from the list. Your device will connect with the Bluetooth module. When the devices have paired, the module will sound again. The link indicator will light steady blue. You are now ready to stream audio from your device. Adjust the volume knob on the Bluetooth channel in conjunction with the master control to get a suitable audio level. You may also need to adjust the volume on your phone or Bluetooth media device. If a phone call is incoming during playback, the audio stream will be interrupted for the user to take the call. The phone conversation is not transmitted over the PA, but the music or media will pause. When the call is finished, the Bluetooth module will automatically relink and audio files will continue playback from when they were interrupted. Be sure to always stay in a suitable operating range of 30 feet or less so you don't lose your Bluetooth connection. We will now go through the AS TVTX audio link transmitter. This module transmits an entire audio mix from one traveler to another traveler that is equipped with a wireless mic audio link receiver. Turn the volume control knob clockwise to turn on the transmitter. The LCD screen will display on and the channel in use when the unit was last turned off. To select a different channel, press and hold set and a channel number will flash. Press the up or down button to select a different transmit channel and then press set again to enter the setting. The LCD will then automatically display the selected channel. Use the level control on the transmitter in conjunction with the satellite's traveler master control knob and the receiver's level knob to get a suitable audio level. When transmitting signal, the TX indicator will light green to show the transmitting condition. The AF level indicator lights yellow to show signal presence and red to show signal overload. Make sure both the AS TVTX transmitter and the satellite's receiver are linked to the same channel. The frequency you choose needs to be different than the one you use for the microphone receivers. When linking two travelers, the operation controls go like this. The master control on the transmitting traveler controls that traveler. The control from a microphone, Bluetooth, 
or any other input controls the volume of both travelers. The TX volume on the transmitting travelers controls the receiving traveler. The master control on the receiving traveler controls that traveler. The TBREC knob on the receiving traveler controls that traveler. In conclusion, you have two knobs to control the master volume of both the units, one master knob to control the volume of the transmitting traveler, and one knob to control the volume of the receiving or satellite traveler. We will now go through the TV REC audio link receiver. This module receives signals from wireless microphones or from another traveler equipped with the audio link transmitter. Turn the volume control knob clockwise to turn on the receiver. The LCD screen will display on and the channel in use when the unit was last turned off. To select the next channel, press the scan button. The LCD display will show scan and the RF indicator will flash before moving to the next channel. To manually select a channel, press and hold the up or down button for at least one second until the channel number is blinking. Press the up or down button until the LCD display shows the channel desired. Stop pressing the button once you have the channel you want. The selected channel number will be confirmed in one second if no other adjustment has been made. For connecting the TVHH handheld microphone transmitter, press and hold the power button, which is located on the bottom of the transmitter. You can change the channel by pressing the up or down arrows. Be sure that the transmitter and the receiver are linked to the same channel. Once they are on the same channel, your transmitter will then be synced to the receiver. Use the volume controls on the TV REC in conjunction with the master control knob to get a suitable audio level. We also offer many other transmitters that will work with your traveler. TV MBP, the TV H2, and the TV BBT. We will now go through the TV DREC audio link receiver. This module receives signals from two wireless microphones or from another traveler equipped with an audio link transmitter. The DREC receiver has two channels, channel A and channel B. They both have their own separate volume controls. First, turn the volume knob control clockwise to turn on the receiver. The LCD screen will display on and the channel in use when the unit was last turned off. To select a different channel, press and hold set and the channel number will flash. Press the up or down button to select a different transmit channel and then press set again to enter the setting. The LCD will then automatically display the selected channel. For connecting the TVHH microphone transmitter, press and hold the power button, which is located on the bottom of the transmitter. You can change the channel by pressing the up and down arrows. Be sure that the transmitter and the receiver are linked to the same channel. Once they are on the same channel, your transmitter will then be synced to the receiver. Use the volume controls on the receiver in conjunction with the master control knob to get a suitable audio level. We also offer many other transmitters that will work with your traveler. TV MBP, the TV H2, and the TV BBT. We will now go through the RM CD player. This module will play CDs, MP3 files, SD cards, and USB flash drives. First, push the power button to turn on the player. You can put a CD in the CD slot or push the stop eject button to take out a CD. Press the play pause button to start and pause the playing of a track. Turn the volume control on the RMCD in conjunction with the master control knob to get a suitable audio level. Push stop eject to stop the playing of a track. Press the forward or reverse button to skip forwards or backwards through your tracks. The repeat has three modes. Repeat one song. Repeat current folder and repeat all songs. The random shuffle is used to play the music in a random order. Enabling the shuffle random will remove the repeat setting. And vice versa, selecting a repeat mode will remove the shuffle random mode. Thank you for watching our introduction to the Galaxy Audio TV10 Portable PA system. Contact your Galaxy Audio dealer for more information on this product. Feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more informative videos about our products.